Occasionally, we will get a call from a client who has a new hardwood floor and they tell us the finish is coming off. The first question we ask is, how are you cleaning your floor? Usually the reply is, we mop it. When we tell them the mopping causes the finish to separate from the wood, they remind us of our 40-year warranty. Water and wood are natural enemies and wood will lose the battle every time. When the wood absorbs the moisture, it expands more than the finish, causing a separation between them. The more moisture the floor absorbs, the quicker the adhesion between the wood flooring and finish is compromised. Mopping allows the water or combination of liquids to be quickly absorbed into the wood flooring, mostly through the bevels and ends. Although it may seem the water won't penetrate the surface, it will absorb this moisture very slowly. Once the moisture has penetrated the finish, the problems begin. Quite often, the first signs of moisture damage will be the ends wrinkling and a few tiny cracks appearing in the wood. As these tiny cracks absorb more moisture from mopping, they grow and the finish will tend. To show the long-term effects of mopping, we have prepared two sections of the exact same floor. These are all the exact same pieces cut in half. As you can see, the boards are numbered, showing that each piece is located in both samples. We will be demonstrating the proper way to clean the floor with recommended Bona cleaning products versus mopping with a solution of vinegar and water. On this side, we'll use our recommended cleaning method. We use a paper towel to remove any excess moisture and a film. On this side, we use the mop with the vinegar and water. After the first cleaning, both floors look identical. We'll continue to clean and monitor by taking pictures. We clean both floors the same way 30 times, taking pictures along the way. We used our recommended Bona hardwood floor cleaner for the sample on the left and 75% water and 25% vinegar for the sample on the right. This number of cleanings may seem excessive, but with a dark shiny floor like the one used in the demonstration, it wouldn't be uncommon for a homeowner to clean it at least once per week. We took photos of the floors after 5, 10, 20, and 30 cleanings. Here is the comparison between the two. After five cleanings, the Bona flooring showed no visual difference in appearance. After 10 cleanings, it still looked like new. And this was the same after 20 and 30 cleanings. The water and vinegar was a different story. After five cleanings, the hardwood flooring didn't show any signs of being damaged by water. After 10 cleanings, the hardwood flooring displayed some streaking, but was otherwise unchanged. After 20 cleanings, the hardwood floor began to expand and cup. The finish also began to ripple along the sides of the planks as well as on the ends. After 30 cleanings, the hardwood flooring was severely cupped and the finish began to peel on both the edges and the ends of the boards. This shows that not only cleaning with water and vinegar will damage your hardwood floor, but also that it takes time for it to happen. After 10 cleanings, the hardwood flooring still looked very nice, but after 20 cleanings, irreparable damage had occurred. The wood we use to make our hardwood flooring is kiln dried to a moisture content between 6 and 9%. This coincides with a relative humidity level between 30 and 50%, which is recommended for healthy living. The stain and finish applied at this moisture content has maximum adhesion. Within the relative humidity range between 30 and 50%, the finish and wood flooring can move together. A finish must have durability and flexibility to last 40 years. It is the solid particles of titanium oxide that gives our finish its durability. But the more durable the finish, the less flexible it becomes. As the moisture content of the wood increases, the adhesion of the finish to the wood weakens. Whether the moisture is being absorbed from the subfloor the relative humidity in the air, or from mopping the floor, it will eventually break the bond of the finish and the wood and push the finish off. For this experiment, the subfloor we installed the wood flooring on was dry, and the relative humidity level in the air was in the proper range. So mopping the floor is the only variance between the samples, 
and the only thing that would cause the wood to absorb moisture. In a new home, there are two other factors, the subfloor and the relative humidity. The subfloor moisture content is typically quite high in a new home, and that moisture migrates up until it is eventually absorbed by the hardwood flooring. You also have the high relative humidity levels in the new home because moisture is released from the various building products in the home. For more information on new home moisture, watch our video, Wet Houses. When wood flooring absorbs moisture, it expands. And if the moisture content in the wood flooring is higher than 9%, the finish will be stretched beyond its limits. When you mop your hardwood floor with water, the moisture lies on top of the floor and settles into the bevels. It is then absorbed into the wood before it has time to evaporate. Once the moisture works its way between the wood flooring and the finish, the problems start. Mopping your hardwood flooring with water causes the wood flooring to absorb moisture. This in turn weakens the level of adhesion between the wood flooring and the finish. The most common method of testing the adhesion of the hardwood floor finish is the cross hatch test. The first test we did was on the sample that had been cleaned with the proper Bona floor cleaner and it had no issues passing the test. The second test we did was on the sample that had been cleaned with water and vinegar and it failed the test miserably. Not only does mopping your hardwood flooring with water cause the finish to check and crack, but it also can cause the finish to detach from the wood flooring, which is a larger issue.